Universal health care, free tuition, and addressing the coronavirus epidemic. Current frontrunner in the Democratic race for the White House, Senator Bernie Sanders, discussing these issues. A one on one interview with Count on Two's Octavia Mitchell. Senator Bernie Sanders is riding a wave of victories. You're considered the front runner. What would you attribute that to? Well, I think we have an agenda that is speaking to the needs of working families. Many working families feel they've been ignored, ignored by the political establishment. We're talking about raising that minimum wage to a living wage, 15 bucks an hour. Make public colleges and universities tuition free, substantially increase funding for HBCUs, and cancel all student debt in this country. And again, health care, just a huge issue. We have got to join the rest of the industrialized world and guarantee health care to all people as a human right. How will you pay for that? At a time of massive income and wealth inequality, when three people on top own more wealth than the bottom half of American society, yeah, we're going to demand that the wealthy stop paying their fair share of taxes and large corporations, especially those who are paying zero in income tax right now, stop paying their fair share of taxes. Senator Sanders says the three top issues his supporters in South Carolina have reached out to him about are health care, education, and housing. Well, there's a feeling that for uh, many communities, lower income, African American communities, they're not getting the quality education that they need. We're going to triple funding for low income Title I schools so that all kids in America get the quality education they need, regardless of their zip code. And the other area that I hear a lot about is is uh, housing, uh, not only in South Carolina, but all over this country. Senator Sanders says the government is not doing enough to control the coronavirus. When you're talking about the coronavirus, you're, you're talking about an international issue. This is a global issue, and you got to have relations with countries all over the world, with the World Health Organization. Uh, you can't do it alone. But we need to substantially increase funding for the National Institute of Health, for the Center for Disease Control, and to work with countries all over the world in A, getting a vaccine, B, controlling the epidemic. While revving up the crowds at campaign rallies and other events here in South Carolina, Senator Sanders is also looking ahead to Super Tuesday. We're trying to bring people together around an agenda that works for all of us, not just the 1%. So bringing people together around raising the minimum wage, around health care for all, around combating climate change, that's exactly what we intend to do. Octavia Mitchell, count on two.